What's up guys, welcome back. I wanna to talk today about chakras and what is the most important chakra in my opinion. So, as many of you probably know on this channel, and maybe you don't, I don't know, we have a lot of chakras in the body. But the ones that we mainly talk about is the main seven. And they range from the root all the way up to the crown chakra, which are connected to our physical body. And there is a lot of talk about all the chakras, about what they do. And they were all extremely powerful and all bring a great sense of power within each part of our lives. But today I want to talk about what I think is the most important, the, mo the main one you need to work on every single day, no matter what. And you may be surprised by what I want to say and which chakra I think it is. It's not the third eye, it's not the heart chakra, it's not even the crown chakra. For me, the most important is ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba, your root chakra. Yep, probably the one most people don't even think about. Um, and the majority of people that I work with or talk to, um, even myself sometimes have issues with my root chakra. And I think probably, I would say 99% of the world population has issues in the root chakra. So, so what, you know, um, it's one of them things, it's part of life, but it's having an understanding of it, it's having an understanding and awareness of what the root chakra is and what the root chakra does. So the root chakra is located at the base of your spine. And chakras are a, a Hindu philosophy. That's where a lot of it is steeped in that mysticism. But it branches out across many um, forms and cultures. Um, but the root chakra is connected to your grounding. It's connected to stability. Um, so it's grounding in life. It's how stable you are in life. But it's not just connected to your physical body, although Yes, the lower three energy centers are predominantly more around the physical body. And I think that's where a lot of people fall off and forget about them, forget about your bottom three chakras, and especially the root chakra, because they think, well, I want to be more spiritual. So I need to focus on my heart for love, for that frequency. I need to focus on my third eye for intuition and, and visualization and things like that. But for me, if you're not in a grounded, stable place within yourself, plus mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, because the root chakra governs all of your bodies, not just your physical body, it governs your mental body, it governs your emotional body and your spiritual body, it governs every part of you. So if you're not in a good, grounded, mental place, then starting to go on a journey of spirituality and wanting to open your third eye without even thinking about your root chakra is a big, big no-no because you're gonna open up things that you have no idea what you have to deal with or how to deal with it because you're not coming from a place of grounding, of stability, whether that's physically, mentally, emotionally, or spiritually. So for me, the root chakra is the number one chakra to work on, the most important. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the various aspects of how the root chakra governs our everyday life. All of the chakras help to govern our everyday life and each chakra helps, I suppose, another one along the way. But this main one, this root chakra, fundamentally, it's, a lot of it is to do with your very basic instincts of fight or flight. Um, and I th again, I think a lot of people don't think of themselves as, I suppose, in this primitive physical form. They think of themselves as evolved beings, um, as awakened beings. But if they're not able to face their own fears, if they're not able to face their fears in life, if things trip them up, if they're not in a grounded place and they're wanting to go into more spiritual places, then they're doing it without their 
internal protection, without their grounding, without their stability. So our stability on a physical setting, let's just talk about that to begin with. So our stability of a physical thing is, how do we perceive ourselves physically? How do we look at ourselves physically? How do we look at our bodies? Are we pleased with our bodies? Are we pleased with the way that we look? Are, the, are we pleased with the way we are with other people? Are we pleased with the way we are in our relationships, in our friendships, in our work life? So everything to do with our physical life, are we pleased with that? Are we pleased with how we are physically? How we interpret others? How we listen to others? All of that has got to do with your root chakra, plus a little bit of other chakras as well, but predominantly, it's all to do with how you feel physically in yourself, which is your primal, primal instinctual thing is in your root chakra. Because if you're not stable within yourself, physically, and you have issues with your body, with your appearance, with how you look, it's going to affect how you approach other people. It's going to affect how you approach relationships, friendships, jobs. It's going to affect everything in life. So, the, so we have to think about this energy center in a more simpler context than using long explanations. And, and that's, that's why on this channel, I try to break it down into more simplistic forms to think about into more simplistic ways of, of looking at energy in a more physical human way. And that's because of my groundedness, my grounded energy. I, I want to look at life in a more grounded way um, and not always be in the head, in the intuition, in the heart, because being in higher frequencies all the time is extremely tiring, it's exhausting. Usually, you know, a lot of the time, psychics will, and mediums, and, and, and healers as well, burn themselves out because they don't look after the grounding of their own energy. They're too busy looking around and looking after everybody else and totally forget number one. So that's where we, again, we need to focus on our grounding for our physical body. If we tire ourselves out and we're not physically uh, full of vitality and energy, then we're not going to give the best that we can. So, physicality, your physicality. Are you happy with where you are physically? If you are, good. If you're not, then there's issues in the root chakra to be aware of. Mentally, we go a little bit deeper now. Mentally with the root chakra. So, is your mind all over the place? Are you overthinking scenarios? I do have anxiety, do you have depression? Do you always look at the worst outcome? If somebody says something that might be totally harmless or meant harmlessly or not have any negative issues with it, do you take it as a negative? Do you take that as something targeted as you? Issues with the root chakra because of your mentality because you're not stable within your mind. Do you fly off the handle? Do you have emotional outbursts? Do you, you know, have ADHD? Do you have panic attacks? Grounding, stability. Grounding of the mind, grounding of the mental. That comes then into the physical. So when you look at it, you can see from the physical and the mental aspect of how they affect each other. So if someone says something to you that may be totally harmless, but you take it as an attack on you, you then take it into your physical body and you, you might have a coping mechanism to deal with that. So it might be an addiction, it might be smoking or drinking or um, abuse or, um, eating or you know there might be various ways that you want to deal with it in life root chakra physicality your physical body so it's this is why it's key this is why it is the most important chakra to focus on um, and and to work with and heal with uh, 
so yeah so the mental side of it is is so so important really is um being mentally accepting of yourself as well so if you have anxiety or depression which obviously as you, many of you know on this channel i suffered with years ago um if you're in those anxious places you're always thinking of the worst possible outcome you're always thinking of the worst case scenario you're always talking badly to yourself and giving yourself negative information and feeling negative and again it all comes back to your root chakra so a lot of the mental health issues come from this instability within the mind which is connected to the root chakra and some other chakras as well i'm not knocking them all out there but the root chakra is where a lot of this um way of being this stability comes from so it's the most important to work with mentally and emotionally so these are very much connected so your emotions which are connected obviously to your mentality and the way you are so you may fly off the handle you may have outbursts of emotion um, for no reason there might not be a reason there might be like i said before someone might have said something to you to you in which would have been totally harmless but you've taken it in totally the wrong context and out of the situation and that's affected you emotionally root chakra again straight away so there is a lot to do with the emotions the way that the emotions and the mind work together in harmony so bringing those into harmony bringing those into balance all begins with the root chakra emotionally you know in relationships in the workplace in everyday life in your in your own emotions within yourself how again how you feel about yourself not just about how you look or if you've got issues with your appearance but how does that make you feel you know do you feel uncomfortable within yourself you know so root chakra healing the root chakra healing will then help you to look at these issues work on these issues through working on your root chakra and it'll give you the the strength and ammunition because as you work through the energy this energy in the root chakra this healing it moves up into all the other chakras and brings healing throughout your whole, whole body so it brings more stability to your being to your body to your mind and your spirit so then talking spiritually from the root chakra this energy you know your energy so we're all spiritual beings and we we all made up of energy um, everything is energy in life so your physical body is energy it's made of atoms your your language your speech the way you speak to yourself and the way you speak to others is made up of energy the way you feel about yourself the way you feel about others the feelings that you put out to the world the feelings that you convey to yourself and others is an energy it's a frequency the way you connect to the spirit realm and the way you connect to your own spirit you want to connect to your own spirit more than external spirits because you want to get yourself in a centered grounded safe place and that only comes from guess where it comes from the root chakra absolutely so it's so important and when you're spiritually grounded and protected and safe and stable and in a wonderful harmonious grounded place then and i would say only then do you want to start dwelling into the realms of spiritual life externally you know looking for or trying to connect to spirit or your guides and they don't always need to connect to you either so that's the other thing to be aware of they don't always need to be there they don't always need to give you information because they're living their own life in the realm of spirit as well so they're not always there they might just pop in and pop out also spirit guides as well are usually connected to more than one person so not it's not just you but their energy can be you know there is no time and space it's just wherever it needs to be um, but from a grounded setting you know we need to be aware of that internally within our own energy as well you know if we don't have if we don't have that concept of which is hard for the physical mind to think of that 
There is no time and space because we've been so conditioned into the understanding that oh, it's one o'clock in the afternoon, it's two o'clock in the afternoon, there's so many hours before tea time, there's so many hours before bed, I have to set my alarm for this hour because I have to go to work, because that is our earthly life. We have to remember that we are human. We are living an earthly life. So this is, you know, this is another part of spirituality and spiritual life where everyone wants to talk about being in 5D and being in this wonderful, wonderful high frequency. But like I mentioned before, it's tiring on the physical body. We always have to come back to the root chakra, to our stability, to our core, to our grounding, to Gaia, to Mother Earth. That is the protecting force and the guiding force for your physical, for your mind, for your body, your spirit, for every part of you, for every part of your being. So that's why I think that the root chakra is the most important energy center within your body. Once you start working on that, the healing that comes from your root chakra starts affecting every part of you, your physical body. Because when you're out of balance with your mental and emotion, it affects your physical. It can, it can affect your skin, it can affect your, your balance, it can affect your overall being, your overall physical health um, is affected because you're not grounded, because something's happened. Something's happened in life to take you out of that place. So there are things that happen in life, in an earthly life, that we need to experience and we need to learn from but we also need to heal from and have an awareness of them. And these occasions, these happenings, bring an energetic block to the root chakra because it, it traps us into that state, into that fight or flight way of being. Uh, so th these heightened emotions, these traumas, whatever it might be, it blocks in that energy. And a lot of the time when people are going through, when I do hypnosis sessions, when I do meditation sessions that I'm working with people, a lot of the time when they're in these anxious places, again, 99.9% .9 of the time they will see red or they'll see a dark red. Um, and that is to do with the root chakra. Some people think it's bad to see red um, when they're going through a healing session. Well, no, I don't think it is bad at all. I think of it as healing is taking place. Something is coming into your, your dimension, your reality, that you need to be aware of. So just because you're seeing something, it's very much like the emotions. A lot of people say, oh, you know, you don't want to feel that, just push it away, you know, just push it behind you, build more shadow up behind you that you have to deal with in the next life or whatever. No, just harness it, be with it, sit with it, listen to it, heal it, let it do what it needs to. And it's exactly the same with the stuff that come up from root chakra, from healing the root chakra. Um, it's it's such a, a powerful energy center and it, it really is the core to your to your being, to every part of you, to your whole being. It's so, so important. The root chakra is the first chakra and uh, the first chakra of your physical body. And for me, the most important. So just a few messages for you today. I hope you understand and get something from this video and get a, a new understanding of how energy works in your physical reality, because there's many people that talk about energy work and they talk about the emotions and things like that, but it doesn't bring into context of how it can actually affect us in the now, in the physical, in the present moment. So I hope this video explains a little bit about that and how energy works and how we can heal energy. Sorry about the dogs, but see you in the next video. Bye for now.